Hey friends, this is Ram and you're watching Fitness Geek. In today's video, we are talking about the tenant settings in your Power BI. So let's go ahead and check out what all the settings are available and how you access the tenant settings. If you are an Office 365 administrator, you will uh, be the administrator for your Power BI uh, tenant as well. So let's go get let's get started. So when you are in your Power BI uh, URL, the app.powerbi.com, and you're ac you have logged in as the admin user, you will click on this settings on your right hand side, top of your uh, window, and you go down to governance and insights, you will click on admin portal. That will take you to this admin portal and this is where you will find the tenant settings. So this is your tenant settings and we'll go through, uh, there are a lot of settings available and we'll just go through uh, a few of them, starting from the top. So yeah, these are for specific Microsoft Fabric, which is under preview. Uh, if you have not watched my previous videos on Microsoft Preview uh, Fabric, uh, just go ahead and check it out. I have made some uh, quick videos on Microsoft Fabric uh, proper, you know, how you would load the data, the data engineering bit and the Power BI bit. Uh, I've done a quick uh, demo on that. But for today, we will just be talking about the tenant settings. So let's dive into it. The help and support settings. This is where you will, uh, you know, you can configure uh, get help uh, information for your uh, so any user you know if you can if you enable this uh, you can give the URL where the documentation for your training or whatever documentation that you have for your Power BI uh, workspaces or you know best practices that you have uh, the person using that URL uh, can access you know the get help uh, icon and he'll be able to read what all uh, best practices you have or what all things you want them to know so this this will uh, create that get help icon in the in the power bi reports uh, this one the setting uh, definitely i would recommend all the admins to enable this receive email notifications for service outages or incidents for example i would definitely like to receive some email notifications whenever there is an outage so this is where you will uh, you know uh, provide your email address where you want to receive the email notifications for any outages uh, users can uh, try Microsoft Fabric paid services this is currently disabled custom message for receiving oh, wait custom message for your users when they're publishing reports you can enable that next is the workspace settings so you can definitely you know uh, have a look at it but for now uh, this is enabled by default like creating workspaces is enabled by default using data sets across workspaces within your organization is also enabled by default by default and this one is disabled by default, which is block users from reassigning personal workspaces. So whenever you uh, log in to your you know, Power BI, you create, you have your My Workspace, which is your area, or like it is just a you know, dedicated uh, workspace for you. So you should not be using it to share across. So that's why it is disabled. Information protection. Uh, this, this is these, these are new things that are. Uh, coming into uh, you know uh, Microsoft uh, Power BI so uh, this 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 is l currently in you know progress and they're linking it with Microsoft purview so the setup uh, will be a bit different will have some prerequisite steps that you will need to complete and you'll have to read about it a bit uh, but for now for this video we will not be going through these so basically this creates a you know catalog it's kind of a label that you can create uh, on your data sets whether it is sensitive or not uh, those kind of labels currently it is disabled because uh, it requires different licensing for microsoft purview so this is currently disabled export and sharing settings 
The first one, allow Azure Active Directory guest users to access Microsoft Fabric, which is for Fabric specific. Invite external users to your organization is enabled as well. Allow Azure Active Directory guest users to edit and manage content in the organization is disabled, which is disabled by default, so which is good practice. So by default, uh, Microsoft has introduced a lot of you know security practices that you should follow. So it's already there. There are a few that you should uh, disable. Uh, we have a video on the publish to web uh, setting that you should disable for your organization. Uh, we have a video uh, from last, uh, you know, our last video was on that. You can go ahead and check it out. And then publish to web, this is the one. This this one setting is you know good enough for you to go and check your tenant settings and disable this. So make sure this is disabled. Otherwise, anyone can share the reports uh, straight into internet and anyone can access it without any authentication and the reports report stays shared forever. So until you remove it and the URL changes, the old URL will like will be active as long as the report exists. So that's one setting you need to disable. Copy paste visuals. That's all right. Uh, this is another one. Export to Excel and export to CSV. This 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 these two settings also depending on how sensitive your data is, uh, you would like to disable. So when you disable this, uh, you will not be able to you know if if this is your report. And if you see uh, data, you can export data here. Once you disable those, you'll not be export data. So that's depending on how you want to tackle this, you can enable or disable it. So currently it is enabled, that's by default. Download reports is enabled. Export report as Word, XML, or you know PowerPoint presentation or PDF is enabled by default. Uh, I mean, all organizations, you know, you can create whatever Power BI reports you want, but at the end, you know, users, uh, the user report consumers will ask you whether they can export it as an Excel sheet or export as as a PDF file. So, yeah, that's enabled by default. So if you are in this. And if you want to export, so you can analyze in Excel, you can use the PowerPoint or you can use the PDF. If you click PDF, only current page, that's okay. Export, and it starts exporting. So that's your exporting your uh, reports. There are a few more settings here which you can have a look uh, and all of most of it is enabled. If you see this one is disabled, guest users can work with shared data sets, data sets in their own tenants. So that's, this is a good one uh, to stay disabled. You don't want your guest users to uh, use your data, shared data sets within their own you know, tenants. So that's a good one, uh, disabled by default. Uh, next is your discovery settings. Uh, just have a look. Most of all of them are enabled by default. and. Uh, Mm, I don't see any of them causing any issues, so you can go ahead with the next one. Content pack and app settings. Uh, this is you know uh, one of the old ways of the content pack, uh, old, old way of sharing your reports. Uh, it's currently disabled for the entire organizations, which is perfectly fine. Uh, yeah, just have a look. Like if if you need those, uh, you can keep it enabled, or if you don't, you can disable them. Integration settings, that this is where you uh, enable features. For example, using Azure Maps visual, visuals is disabled by default. You can enable it, but you just have a read like, by selecting enable, you agree that Azure Maps visuals may use Azure services located outside of your Power BI tenants geographic region, compliance boundary or national cloud instance. So just have a look if you need any of these features like the SSOs, uh, Oracle SSO, or your active Azure AD single sign-on for Gateway. All these can be enabled if you need them, but uh, 
Yeah, for now let's go ahead. Power BI visuals, uh, yeah, allow visuals created using the Power BI SDK is enabled as well. Uh, add and use certified visuals only. This is disabled. You can enable it. So this this is where you know custom uh, visuals people and people uh, try to bring uh, the custom uh, visuals in your reports uh, without proper approvals or checks. So that's this is for that. So yeah, if you enable this, only the certified visuals you know, will be used. So you can go ahead and enable it. Allow download for custom visuals. This is currently disabled. Which is, which is okay, no, not a problem. Audit and usage settings. Uh, usage metrics for content creators. That's enabled. Uh, per user data and usage metrics metrics for content content creators is enabled as well Azure log analytics for workspace. This is currently disabled. You can enable it If you need it So if you enable it you might incur some costs, so you'll have to be wary of that Developer settings uh, dashboard settings developer settings admin API settings just have a look at it and uh, use whatever is required for you and you can most of it is probably you know the best practice already there but a few of them that i wanted you to pay attention to i have already mentioned and yeah so that's 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 it for today and just go ahead and explore your tenant settings have a read have a read about the best practices for this and give me a shout if you need help on anything else.